Hey guys, Dirk here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we will be going over how to install the WebTorrent application on Linux. Um, in this particular video, I thought I'd go over how to install it on Red Hat based Linux distributions as I've recently started using OpenSUSE Leap. Um, but in my article, I talk about how you can convert the Debian package to a RPM for use on Fedora and OpenSUSE. So we're going to be going with that method. Please keep in mind that if you use a different distribution, just check the link in the description and you'll be able to easily get it going. So to start off, open up a terminal and just enter the following command. Now this will give you the ability to just download the latest dev package. Uh, it'll take a little bit. You also have to have the alien package converter installed, which again, that's in the description in my article, but the alien package converter is gonna allow us to decompile the inside of the dev package and just make it so that we can run it as an RPM. So we can see I have alien running, so I can just do alien, actually sudo alien rvc, then web torrent, enter the password, it's going to depackage and do a bunch of different things. And we have the V command or V switch so we can see what it's doing. And we can see this is what it's doing here. It's going to take a little bit of time. Um, I've tested this on Fedora and SUSE both. Uh, I prefer SUSE for obvious reasons, mainly stability, but uh, they should work on both. It's Everything is self-contained within the WebTorrent package. So it's not like you really have to install any dependencies, at least in my experience, it may differ for you, but Okay, so our RPM file is done downloading. We can go ahead and just quickly copy this and then we can just do sudo zipper. In my case, it may be DNF for you if you're using Fedora, IN or install, IN is for short, and then just do a paste. And uh, it's going to refresh our, our package repositories because that's how zipper works. I have a, uh, a little minor error with the Mozilla package. So just keep that in mind. Uh, my repository, if it were to, repre to refresh it, it would have came up with an error, but that has nothing to do with the package installation. As you can see, it's going to install everything. Uh, during OpenSUSE, it's gonna say package isn't signed. Um, this doesn't happen with the Fedora version of this. The only reason it does this on OpenSUSE is because of security reasons. You can safely just click the, or tap the I letter on your keyboard and ignore it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, and, uh, you can install it and then we can just search for WebTorrent and we see WebTorrent is right here and it works natively on OpenSUSE and we can go ahead and stream the free and uh, legal files that they have here. We can add our own torrents and magnet links in any way we wish. Anyways guys, that's how you get WebTorrent working on Linux. I will see you guys in the next video.